Also during their summit, the leaders of South Korea and Poland agreed to build on the current economic exchanges, namely supply chains, nuclear power plants, and the defense industry. Our presidential office correspondent Kim do yeon has the details. As South Korea and Poland are stepping up cooperation based on shared values, the two agreed to expand their economic exchanges, pending MOUs on trade and infrastructure cooperation. One was the Trade and Investment Promotion Framework, designed to create a trade and investment framework to advance cooperation in various industries, business activities, and supply chains, as South Korean firms expand into Poland's high-tech industries such as electric vehicle batteries and 5G. The two leaders also agreed to advance bilateral cooperation in strategic areas including nuclear power plants and the defense industry, as the top office says that seemed to be the focus of the Polish side as well in these bilateral talks. In fact, South Korea has been exporting K-2 tanks, howitzers, and fighter jets to Poland recently, and President Duda showed his wishes to build on this. We wish to not only import South Korean weapons, but also manufacture them here in Poland. K-2 tanks are one of the examples. An MOU was signed to advance infrastructure projects, with a focus on the transport sector not only in Poland, but across Central and Eastern Europe. This includes construction of airports and communication infrastructure in the region. The top office showed its confidence for these plans. Strengthening economic security cooperation between Korea and Poland will be a focal point for complementing our existing European supply chain network. The TIPF signed at this summit and the MOU for Transportation Infrastructure Development Cooperation will serve as a catalyst for this. The two leaders also agreed to double down on countering North Korea's threat to global peace and security, criticizing the North's missile program, including the most recent launch just a couple of days ago, and calling for an end to its nuclear program. Following the summit, the Polish president hosted an official dinner at the presidential palace with around 80 guests. According to the top office, the two celebrated a successful year of bilateral trade despite the global economic hurdles and pledged to cooperate to safeguard the values of liberal democracy. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.